Now when you get home, I want you also to remember to be mindful of the seasons. I've got a little topic now called the four major lessons in life to learn. I've done this some in time in the past, but it's been a while. And for all of you that are brand new, I'd like to have you pick up on what I'm about to share with you right now. I think it's going to be valuable. It's going to be important. So jot this phrase down. Life and business is like the changing seasons. This is some of the most valuable information I got when I was a young man. Just starting out. Life and business is like the seasons. And then here's the next phrase. You cannot change the seasons. That's impossible. You can't rearrange the seasons. You cannot say, well, I'll take five harvest times, no winters, a few springs, and a summer or two. You can't rearrange them. The seasons are going to come however they're going to come, and you cannot change that. So you cannot change the seasons. But make this note. You can change yourself. That was the message I got when I was 25 years old with someone who took the time to teach me. You can change yourself. And by the way, only human beings have this extraordinary ability to make dramatic changes in their life. All of the life forms except human beings are driven by instinct and the genetic code. In America, the goose can only fly south in the winter. And why does the goose have to fly south in the winter in America? Because he's a goose. He can't fly any other direction. But that's not true with human beings. Human beings can go north. They can go south. They can go east. They can go west. Human beings can live one way for five years and then tear up that script and live a totally different way the next five years. Humans can do that. I'm asking you to utilize your power as a human being and change your life to whatever degree you want it changed. If you want your income to change, I'm telling you it's within your power. With Herbalife's marketing and these explosive, incredible products, you can do that. Any year you choose, you can make incredible changes in your life. You're not a tree, you don't have to stay. You're not a goose, you don't have to fly south. I'm telling you, anytime you want to, you can say, I'm going to change my attitude, I'm going to change my income, I'm going to change my abilities, I'm going to do more than I've ever done before, Take on that as your God-given right as a human being to change your life to whatever degree you want it to change. As I've watched Mark these last 17 years, I'm telling you Mark was one of those that took up the challenge being a human being to drastically change his life these years since he was about 20 from the last 20 years before he put together the Herbalife products what a change what a transformation and if Mark can do it you can do it if I can do it you can do it if the president's team members have done it there isn't anybody in here that can't do it dramatically change the course and the quality of your life so learn the value of the seasons now you can't change them, but you can change yourself. Now here's the four major lessons in life to learn. Number one, learn how to handle the winters. It's a fact of life. The winters follow the fall, the harvest. And pray tell how often. 6,000 years that we know of recorded history. Winter comes after fall. Night comes after day. Difficulty follows opportunity. Recession always comes after expansion. It's been the rhythm of life for the last 6,000 years of recorded history. Now there's all kinds of winters. There's the winter of the season, but there's all kinds of other winters. There's political winters. What a winter that was when the Nazis marched into Prague. What a winter it was when the communists put up the Iron Curtain. What a winter it was when Stalin finally took power in Russia. What a winter it was when Benito Mussolini took power in Italy. What a winter it was in Japan 
What a winter it was in many parts of the world back during World War II, one of the longest winters, political winters in recorded history. So the winters are going to come. The winter of sickness, the winter of disappointment, the winter of devastation, social winters, economic winters, personal winters when your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are unusually long. It's simply called winter time. But the winters are inevitable. So it has been for the last six and a half thousand years recorded history. You say, well, Mr. Rohn, what can I do about the winters of life? In World War II, we marched against the winter and finally the spring came. We marched against the tyranny of communism and finally the walls came tumbling down. We marched against the tyranny of the Nazis and finally liberated the world for democracy and freedom. And that's what I'm telling you. It's possible for you to conquer your winters. And some are small little winters. When you get your first refund, a little small winter. When you show up, someone said, right, they put together the meeting, got everything ready, ready to show the story, ready to do the meeting, and nobody showed up. It's called a little piece of winter time. But anyway, that's gonna come. The winter of a divorce, the winter of a death in the family, the winter of a tragedy, some things we can't understand, but here's what we do know. It's possible for us to get through the winter. Here's what's exciting about the passing of time. It takes you through whatever you're experiencing at the moment. That's what time will do, take you through the winter. Now, how do you handle the winters? Make this little note. You can get better and you can get stronger and you can get wiser. There's no winter that you can't overcome. There's no winter that you can't figure out how to survive. There's no winter powerful enough that you cannot, with the ingenuity of being a human being, especially with the Herbalife opportunity, of figuring out a way to get through it. Hang on, make this note, winters don't last forever. Yes, the tyranny of the Nazis lasted for about five years, but it was soon over. Yes, the tyranny of communism lasted for 75 years, but finally that long winter was passed. So become wiser, become stronger, become better to handle the winters that are gonna come in your life. And with the strength of the Herbalife family, with the strength of the training, with the strength of these incredible products, with self-esteem bursting out all over, with the skills you're gonna develop, you're gonna be able to handle whatever comes your way. I promise you that. Now here's the next season. It's called the season of spring. And make this note, if you haven't made it in your head already, make it in your notes. Spring always comes. Sometimes the winter seems long. The night seems like it'll never pass, but sure enough, eventually, the night has to give way to the day. Winter has to give way to the spring. The difficult time has to give way to opportunity. The recession has to give way finally to the progression, to the expansion. And I don't know what kind of winters you've been through, but I want you to know when the Herbalife story reached your ears, when the Herbalife marketing reached your consciousness, and when this opportunity was passed along to you, I know that for a lot of you, it was called springtime has arrived. The long night is past and opportunity is here. Spring always comes. Just hang in there when the night is long. Hang in there when it's dark. Hang in there when you can't figure it out. And your spring will surely come. Now here's what you must learn to do. Jot this note down. Take advantage of the spring. Just because spring comes is no sign you're going to look good in the harvest. You must do something with it. You must seize that moment. 
It is true that the dark time doesn't last forever, but here's what you've got to also understand. Spring doesn't last forever. In space language, we call it a window of opportunity. When they get ready to blast off, the rocket's headed for the moon, whatever, there's a certain period of time, that's the time you've got to go. If you don't go then, you've got to wait for another whole cycle to turn. Springtime is here called Herbal Life for you. I'm asking you to take advantage of it. Tell the story. Pass out the literature. Make the calls. Conduct the meetings. See the people. Grab and seize this opportunity like you've never seized anything in your life before to make something remarkable of it. This Herbalife opportunity is called spring time. Take advantage. Don't be lazy, especially in the spring. Don't be distracted, especially in the spring. What if you asked a farmer to go bowling in the spring? He would think you were insane. The farmer would say you can go bowling in the winter. You can go bowling after the crop is in, but you certainly can't go bowling in the spring. And I want you to know after this extravaganza, an extraordinary new spring is upon us. If there was ever a time when you get back home, this is the time to massively increase your numbers. Get up a little earlier, stay up a little later, pour it on, take advantage of this spring that's here. Now here's my next point. You've got to take advantage of every spring that comes because there's only a handful. Life isn't forever. It finally comes to an end. One of the Beatles wrote, all things must pass. The sunrise doesn't last all day. Spring doesn't last all summer. The sunset doesn't last all night. We all have periods of time, periods of time pieces of time and when those pieces of time comes what you've got to do is take advantage of each time that comes at the longest life is brief at the longest life is just a small period of time so don't waste your springs don't waste the opportunity to talk to someone don't waste the opportunity to have a meeting don't waste the opportunity to come to next extravaganza don't waste the chance each spring that comes take advantage of them because there's just a few. Don't let them all pass. Take advantage. Now here's number three. In the course of the seasons, one is the winter, two is the spring, three is the summer. The summer is called challenging time. In the summer, we've got two things going for us. One is opportunity, but the other is to watch out for your enemies. Nourish your values in the spring, in the summer. Like a mother, nourish the values. Distributors you've got, make sure that they, give, that they get plenty of nourishment from you, plenty of training from you, plenty of understanding from you. Don't be short, don't be careless. Give them your best like a mother would give the best to her child. Give them the best you've got. Just because they're not part of your immediate family, they're a part of your Herbalife family. They deserve the best nourishment you've got. Don't shortchange them on food that'll help them to grow. Don't shortchange them on information that will help them to learn. Don't shortchange them on ideas that'll help them to transform their lives. Be like a mother in the summer and give the best you've got to everybody you can reach and everybody you can touch. It's called opportunity in the making. Be careful of those around you. Even when your check comes from Herbalife, you say, well, Herbalife sends my check. Well, here's what you've got to understand. It's not the 13th floor that sends you your check. It's not the computer that sends you your check. Some live human being had to make it possible for that money to finally get to you. So remember, it's human beings that make our lives valuable. It's not systems, it's not numbers in the marketing, it's not computers, it's not the printout, it's not points and it's not royalties. What makes us all rich beyond our wildest imagination is people. So be mindful of investing in the summer in every person you can possibly invest in. They will make you wealthy.
Now here's what else you must do in the summer. Like a father, you must look out for your enemies. And believe me, we're going to have some. In the political world during our lifetime, there's been many enemies of freedom, enemies of democracy, enemies of free enterprise. It wasn't that many years ago that it was illegal to make a profit in the communist countries. It wasn't that long ago until democracy was not flourishing like it is today. In America, you know, we've had 200 years of freedom and democracy and free enterprise for the last 200 years. But some have not been so fortunate. Some have not been so lucky. Let us learn to appreciate it when it does come our way. But there's going to be political enemies. There's going to be social enemies. There's going to be people that will be envious of herbal life. And they will not be your friends. But remember, like a father who would guard carefully his family, I'm asking you to stand guard over the family uh, called Herbal Life. I'm asking you to stand at the door. I'm asking you whatever threatens you, threaten it back. Whatever pushes against you, push it back. Whatever wants to overwhelm you like a father, stand up, take control, and do battle with your enemies wherever you find them. Now here's one more. We must also deal with the enemies within ourselves. Yes, we've got enemies on the outside. Saddam Hussein takes over Kuwait. We have to put together half a million troops, go kick him out of Kuwait so that liberty will continue to flourish. But some of the enemies are not way off in some distant country. Some of the enemies are not personified in the Hitlers of the world and the Stalins of the world. Some of the enemies are a lot closer than that. They are within. And I want to give you a list of some of the things to watch out for when you get back home called enemies within yourself. Here's the first one, indifference. Whatever you do, practice not being casual. You've got to shake off sometimes the lethargy that would say, oh, well, maybe it's not going to work for me or I'll just go along and see what happens. I'm asking you, whatever you do, the intensity that you've gathered up here during this extravaganza, I want you to take this same intensity home with you. <coughs> Don't be casual. Casualness creates casualties, whether it's in herbal life or whether it's on the freeway. Go home with a renewed intensity. Don't let indifference take over. Here's the next one, indecision. Someone's mentioned it a couple of times on this stage. They've had to deal with it. You've got to deal with it. Indecision is called the thief of opportunity. Make decisions even if it's a wrong decision. Do the very best you can, make a decision and go with it. If it doesn't work out because it was a wrong decision, I'm telling you, that gives you experience now to make a better decision. Here's the next one, doubt. We've all got to deal with the enemy of doubt. Cynicism has a unique way of crowding in on all of us being cynical about the government, being cynical about banks and money, being cynical about society, being cynical about the past, cynical about the future. I'm asking you don't let that disease grab you by the throat and ruin your chances to do well in herbal life. Yes, it's easy to doubt that it can happen. It's easy to doubt. We've all got fears that want to crowd in. And here's one of the worst ones of all, and that is to doubt yourself. I know we look at Mark, glamorous, handsome, good-looking, extremely successful, say, my gosh, I don't think that could happen for me. But I want you to know that Mark says, and I say to you, that if it can happen to us, it can happen to anybody in this room. Don't doubt your own ability. Don't doubt your own strength. If Mark can make it through some tough times, you can make it through. 
If Mark went through some strenuous times, you can go through those strenuous times. When the nights were long for Mark, I'm telling you, he made it. If he made it, you can make it. If I can make it, you can make it. If these people in the president's team can carve out an extraordinary story, second to none, in the business community of the world, I'm telling you, from these tables, this success can go right on back to the millionaire team and the get team and to everybody up there, wherever you're sitting today. All of this belongs to all of you. Don't doubt that, not for a minute. Next is worry. I mean, you know, you gotta worry some. But here's the clue, don't let it conquer you. If it's two o'clock in the morning and your daughter's not home, yes, you've got to worry. If you're in New York City and step off the curb and one of those yellow taxis is coming, yes, you better worry. But mark this down, let worry alarm you, but don't let it conquer you. We all need to be concerned. We all need to be concerned. If there's enemies around, we need to be concerned. If it isn't going well, yes, we need to be concerned. But I'm asking you to let it concern, let it touch you, let it alarm you, but don't let it conquer you. Take all of the worries you've got and try to drive them into the smallest corner you can possibly find. If you don't, worry will be like a mad dog loose in the house. It'll have you in the corner. So whatever your enemies are here, drive them into a small corner. Here's the next one. Over caution. Hey, in the spring, if you're too cautious, you never will plant the seed. If you're too cautious, you won't take the chance. If you're too cautious, you won't step out front. If you're so cautious, you probably never would have done your first meeting. Make this note, you got to take a chance. Drive your tendency to be too cautious. Drive it into a small corner. Yes, you can't be gullible. No, you can't go for everything. Yes, you've got to be careful. Yes, but don't be so cautious that it paralyzes you. Don't be so cautious that it restricts your chance to do better. See if you can't conquer that. Here's the next one, pessimism. Yes, there's the dark side. Yes, there's the problem side. Yes, there's the difficult side. But I'm telling you, it's not the only side. Yes, the glass is half empty, but it's also half full. Yes, there's the dark side, but there's the light side. Yes, the night comes, but so does the day. I'm telling you, don't be afraid of both sides, opportunity and difficulty, chance and danger. Learn how to handle it all. Now here's the last one. When you get back home, you've got to deal with it. I have to deal with it. We all have to deal with it. And that's complaining. Yes, there's room for a legitimate complaint. Yes, there's room for a legitimate business complaint. Yes, there's room for a legitimate complaint with the 13th floor. Yes, there's room for a legitimate complaint with the warehouse. Yes, there's room for a legitimate complaint once in a while with each other. But here's what I'm asking you, don't let complaining master your life. If you become a chronic complainer, I'm telling you, nobody wants to be around you, chronic complainer. I wouldn't want you for a business partner. Don't let complaining conquer your life. See if you can't drive it into a small corner. That's the season of summer. Nourish your values like a mother and fight your enemies like a father even if you have to fight the enemies that are within yourself. Make this note, don't become a victim of yourself. It's possible to become a victim of tragedy. It's possible to become a victim of gossip. It's possible to become a victim of the things that happen out there. But here's the most important thing. Don't become a victim of yourself. Forget the thief in the alley that's after your purse. What about the thief in your mind that's after your promise? The thief in your mind that says you're too short. The thief in your mind that says you're too tall. The thief in your mind that says, well, yes, it'll happen to people out in California, but it can't happen way over here on this side of the world. I'm asking you to conquer that thief 
even though you find him in your own consciousness. I want to reassure you that you can do it. I want you to reassure you that you can make the decisions. I want to reassure you that no matter what the night, no matter what the storm, no matter what the difficulty, there isn't anybody here that can't figure it out, find some things to do, step at a time, yes. Minute at a time, yes. Day at a time, yes. Week at a time, yes. But there isn't anything you can't walk away from. There isn't any challenge you can't overcome. I want you to have that kind of belief in yourself. Now here's the last season. Now here's the last season. It's called the season of harvest. After the long summer that we've been faithful, we've been disciplined, we've nourished our values like a mother, we fought our enemies like a father. Then, as one writer said of ancient script, in due time, your harvest will come. And I want to give you that promise today one more time. I want to remind you of the seasons. I want to remind you of the testimonials you've already heard on this stage. Those that have already gotten the diamonds, They've got the cufflinks, they've got the earrings, those that have got the rewards, and some of those extraordinary rewards are going to be passed out on this stage here this evening, and that's going to be exciting to watch. Julio is going to be here. He's going to be fun to watch. Mark's been here. Nothing much more exciting than to watch Mark take charge, watch Mark enjoy the proceeds of all that he's created in the last 15 years. It's exciting to watch the president's team and be excited. And I'm gonna be happy to watch all of what unfolds here, but I'm also happy about watching myself. I can't believe where I am today. I can't believe what's happened to me. But sure enough, their rewards came, Mark's rewards came, and so did mine. And I want you to have that same opinion. Your day will come. Your harvest is sure. It'll be there for you. Herbalife will be here to reward you every step of the way. Whatever small steps of progress you have to take, take them. Herbalife will be here to reward you. And when you finally walk across a stage like this, this evening, it will be a thrill beyond imagination. And then you'll be able to say, by gosh, the hard work has paid off. The lonely nights have paid off. Working hard every day has paid off. And my harvest has finally come. Now, a couple of things I want you to think about now in the harvest time. Here it is. Accept your personal harvest with full responsibility. No need to complain because it's your crop. If Herbalife does its best, Herbalife produces the finest products and the finest marketing, the support system second to none. I've never seen the likes of a support system like Herbalife. If all of that's been provided for you, I'm telling you the rest is up to you. So whatever your harvest is, you've got to say, that's my harvest. Don't complain. Take responsibility. Now here's the next one. Don't apologize. When you walk home with the rewards that you're going to be receiving here, especially you and the president's team, chairman's club, millionaire team, get team, you that have been especially honored by having these seats of honor here and this extravaganza, I want you to go home prouder than you've ever been before. And here's what I want you to say when you get home. I deserve the honor. I got it, but I deserved it. They don't pass out diamonds for non-work. We don't pass out diamonds for those that are just related to us. We don't pass out these extraordinary rewards and give honor to those who don't do the job. Those who do the work get the pay, and those that do the work get the honors. And I'm proud of all of you here today.
On more than one occasion, I've heard Mark say, I'm proud of what I do. He's around a lot of top executives now around the world, and some of them aren't that proud of how they earn their money. But every dollar that Mark earns, every fortune and piece of fortune that he makes stacked on top of the other, I'm telling you, Mark says, I look myself in the mirror and say, I'm darn proud of the success I've got because of the ser service I've rendered to the people. And you can likewise be proud.